And you know what's crazy? Bo used writers for Let's Start Here album. He had a whole team of writers. Uh, what are you doing? All right, we got some more shade in the shade room chat. Let's get it. Trying to hurt each other on the internet is stupid. I want no parts, but you gonna stop lying on me. I'm putting my foot down, young man. And you know what's crazy? Bo used writers for Let's Start Here album. He had a whole team of writers. Uh, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> you can't. My bad. Ugly. It's been about three weeks since I made a video about Caribou and that whole Yachty situation. And if you know what's going on, then good. And if you don't know what's going on, I guarantee you go watch my past few videos I done made about the whole situation. You're going to understand, okay? But more of the story, we already know that Caribou has been kicked from the Concrete Boy. That's why you don't see them together. You've been seeing tons of controversy online. Every time Caribou been speaking out, it's almost like she dissing somebody and she's trying to call somebody out. Yeah. Unless yeah, she, she got some Yachty. anger issues out I here. Made about her, yeah, I remember she revealed that she was going through a lot. There's a bigger reason reason to why she couldn't drop and stuff like that and she also said that she got caught up with some very very bad people and she was also trying to expose the industry but a lot of people didn't want to hear that you know yeah yeah, yeah. it's crazy man you could be up one day you could be down the other day you know what i'm saying because why would you say something so late because all the stuff she was saying wasn't bad at all we didn't hurt that tons of different times but with the situation that she in right now nobody's gonna believe you nobody's really gonna care because it's already too late you didn't already blew up and stuff like that nobody cares and after i made that video things cooled down for just a little bit but it started to pick right back up caribou has been hopping on podcasts but she's also been dropping music i seen that she dropped a music video on DDG her youtube ain't channel it no better. SBM. And you know in my Cloud opinion Chase. i really did enjoy the track it was really good i can see that she was still somewhat carrying that same aesthetic that she had with concrete i think it's a good thing you don't really notice a change but i want to talk about how she's been getting on these podcasts lately because i've been seeing a few clips here and there of her talking and it's been about two or three months so you wouldn't think that she would spark this conversation over and over again but she's bringing up yachty again okay and recently she didn't just hop on anybody podcast she hopped on ddg podcast so there was tons of people that was going to see podcast. i wrote something put it in and it wasn't i didn't like it and then and so i'm on the bus like every night every chance i I get i'm rewriting the verse it wasn't f***ing with it or whatever and i didn't really like it that much either i'm not gonna lie it was basically like they wanted to do on the radar for like First a run, type shit. Yeah, they yeah. wanted that to be a part of it or whatever because mm -hmm. we were about to put out tape or whatever so i didn't want to do it because i didn't have my sh together like i didn't like my verse mm -hmm. and it was the night before and i'm like i'm not doing it yeah. and then the day of came i know the night the night before i said i'm not doing it so and then bro literally like did a little voice message and sent it to me on the bus and i like i'm like this sound good what people don't know is like he based it off my flow off my life my lyric like the sh i rap about the sh i went through like that's what a writer does yeah they take you i'm thinking like i didn't really care because i try to write my sh whatever i write all my other sh like it was all my Chat. Chat. Life, my lyric, like the sh I rap about the sh I went through. Like, that's what a writer does. Yeah. They take you. I'm thinking, like, I didn't really care oh, because I try to write my sh whatever. Dang. I write all my other sh Like, it just don't matter. It's, it's a cycle know. with five other people. I, like, I didn't think I would be the one to carry it or whatever. Yeah. So, at the time, Crazy. so I'm just like, whatever. Like, do it for a little person, whatever. But the morning of, I actually texted them and I was like, I don't want to do it. Like, and then, like, Calvin, the boy on the radar, he was like, no, please do it. I think it'll be really good. Blah, blah. Mm. So, I went. Mitch and Wes put the beat switches on there. They didn't like the beat switches, so they took it off. Mm. But when we got there, I was like, y'all, this loop is boring. Like, people aren't going to pay attention. Like, I'm keeping my stuff on. I think Bolt only kept his. It's just like, it's not even a song. It was yeah, a content. It was a video. Like, it was not even on DSPs for months. But it is what it is. Like, people don't even know. Like, people don't even know the people who use writers. And they use them consistently all the time. Like, I used Bro because he kept making me. He, I would have a verse. He would be like, he didn't like it. He would write it or something. Like, it would be features and shit. Like, he's not really doing too much. Like, other than that. Bro. And that's cool. Time. Anyways, I'm on some whole other shit. So, and I'm by myself how I started. And you know what's crazy? Bo used writers for Let's Start Here album. He had a whole team of writers. Everybody. Of, like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> he can't. My bad. Ugly. <laughs> Man, keep that, keep that, keep that. <laughs> Dumbass. Everybody use writers, man. It's all good, bro. Like, it's your job, damn near. Like, yeah. since Bo, first of all, I didn't want to use them. We used to argue all the time. I didn't want to use them. Like, I didn't like talking about pussy this and dumbass shit. Like, I don't yeah. even talk like that. So just like, yeah. I'm straight on that. But we start yeah. clash about it because he got an yeah. ego. You but now I'm not going to use no writers because like, I haven't even dropped a tape yet. I need people to know, like, I just at least need to put my own tape body of workout with just me. You feel me? Like, right. so people can know, like, I'm not playing with y'all dumbass. Like, it been me the whole time. Like, yeah. it's my mm -hmm. you feel me? 
And then after that, like when this if it become like, like a you know when you years in this to just to make it easier, maybe I'll use a writer. But right now, I don't see myself doing that because I don't think I need it. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like don't. I think my whole swag, me being me on the song, like people don't really talk about what I talk about or I don't know. Like I just feel like the only thing that works is talking about what I talk about. My flow. That's what's working for me. I mean, if Yachty ain't put you on, I mean, would you be on the scene right now? I think not, but I mean, kudos, kudos, man. Hope y'all, you and Yachty can pitch our differences to the side one of these days, man. Me. on the streams like that's what's working like on science paper you did so basically she explained that she wrote the freestyle for on the radar she also said that she didn't like the fact that yadi was coming for her for having writers but yadi had tons of different writers for his album too now oh i do think it's a little goodness. different though because yadi did it with an album that we don't usually hear from him it was way different a whole different genre so i don't really know but i'm kind of getting tired of this whole writer thing because it's tons of different rappers that we listen to that got writers okay i'm gonna be real the more the story caribou said that yadi has an ego and she was about to explain more but she didn't want to get too rude that's why she said looking at but you know after caribou did that podcast there was tons of different blogs that kept posting clips of caribou talking about yachty and she was talking about the fact that she didn't have writers so yeah it didn't take time for yachty to reply to academic on one of his blog posts about caribou speaking about yachty yachty said this he said no one has ever wrote for me ever just for the record and you know there's tons of people that still didn't believe caribou so eventually it got to a point where she started exposing yachty screenshots of that yachty plan, having huh? a writer and she took it to her story and you see it's a written by jacob portrait and as you can see there's a yachty song on there that's listed if you go to the next screenshot she showed another songwriter then the next screenshot she sent yachty a song and it's called running late which she already yo dang caribou drop and yachty just responded with wow amazing no hard feelings but you're not finna keep lying on me the next screenshot she said trying to hurt each other on the internet is stupid i want no parts but you gonna stop lying on me i'm putting my foot down young man and then she showed a screenshot of her i guess talking to yachty yesterday and he had messaged her and said hey i love you she replied i love you too he said have a good day and she said thank you too so i'm guessing this is like her saying that she rekindled with him i really don't know what's going on it looked like a toxic relationship to me and it's just like a going back yeah, and forth definitely thing. Toxic. So, Yachty replied and said he don't. so I really don't know what they trying to get out of this. This ain't finna go nowhere at all. And I think Caribou should start doing what she said. Focus on yourself. Do your own thing. You yeah. got your own fan base and all that. You know, you're back on track with dropping music. Let's just leave that Yachty situation alone. Do your own thing. Yachty can do the same thing. Yachty didn't even have to reply to that, but I get why he did it. You know what I'm saying? But is it really worth it to keep talking about this whole situation when it's already been done? We know what happened now. But instead of me diving deep into the situation, I'm finna go ahead and pass it to Ant. All right, y'all. So after Caribou's career has... Yeah, man. Y'all need to pitch our differences to the side and squash that. Just squash it. Y'all beefing for no reason at this point. That's, that's my personal opinion. You know I mean? Y'all have a good one, man. Y'all stay safe out here, man. I'll be back with another one for y'all, man.